The last two years have been challenging for all of us. And in many ways, we've been trying to figure out how do we move forward? How do we get better? So in this video, I'm going to show you three strategies to go from surviving to thriving using Clifton Strengths. Coming right up. So whether it be a global pandemic, challenges with inflation, or the challenging, changing dynamics of the workplace, we've all been put through the ringer over the last couple of years. And there's more work to be done, but I'm also here to tell you that there is another side to this. There's a bright side to this. There's the opportunity for us to grow, stretch, build on our skills, our knowledge, our capacities. And that path and that way forward is through something like Clifton Strengths. Again, you all know me on this channel, the things that I share, the things that I talk about, I'm a deep, deep believer in Clifton Strengths and what it can do for you. When you unlock its power, when you unlock its potential within you, it can do earth changing things for you. So this video is about three strategies to move from surviving what's been the last two years to thriving in the years ahead of us. So we're going to talk about these three, but I, I want to share just, just a moment because this journey is about understanding who we are. It's about going further and it's about going further faster. It's about finding our path. Because if we're going to move from surviving to thriving, it's really about that innate turning inward and being self-reflective about who we are, where we want to go, what goals we want to set, what aspirations do we have for ourselves, for the people who are around, the relationships that we have. All those things tie back to this understanding of who we are and what we do well. So let's get into it. So strategy number one, commit. Now I know, I know, I know, I know. It's hard to commit. There are so many other things. There are so many other challenges. There are so many other issues, things that can get in our way. But you deserve this. You deserve this investment in yourself. So let's start with creating a place, a space, and time intentionally for you to work on this, to give this time to investing in yourself. That's the first thing that you can set up to make sure that you can make the commitment is being intentional about your place, your space, and the time that you will allocate to this. The second thing is I think moving to a growth mindset. It is very, very easy in our world, in our space, to operate in a fixed mindset. Put up roadblocks. Tell us why we can't. Tell us why we shouldn't. And what I am saying to you is on this strength journey, it is all about a growth mindset. It is about expanding. It is about growing. It is about developing. It is about deepening who we are through this process. And so that growth mindset is going to go hand in hand with developing that intentional place, space, and time where you come to a place where you are coming and experiencing this from an open arms perspective and you're ready to receive all the wonderful ahas and all the wonderful opportunities that will come forward. And then the third thing is once you've done these pieces, it's really, really important to now intentionally set the time to sit down and take the assessment. Because if you haven't done the assessment yet, this is the time. This is the time to go in, sit down, walk yourself through, allocating that 30 to 45 minutes. It is worth your time to go through it, understand who you are and what the innate talents and skills and abilities that you have and that you can bring to the world. So commit, 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 commit. Strategy number two, persevere. So let's just be really, really clear. Once you take the assessment, you are not done. Let's make no mistake about it. You have just begun the journey when you've completed the assessment. This is now where the work begins. So you want to, after taking the assessment, is now time to put those things into action. You know, I've seen lots of folks in my time 
coaching Clifton Strengths, being around and understanding and experiencing strengths. They take the assessment and they know what their signature top five are, and they kind of put it on the shelf. It's like, oh, okay, I'm done. No, now is when the time comes where you really now can invest. Now you can go deeper with understanding who you are and what you do well. So persevering, because there's so much new information that you are going to unlock after taking your assessment. You will look at things differently. You will understand things differently as you start to put them through the lens and the filter of your signature themes and your strengths. You will start to say, oh, got it. That's why I do it that way. That's why I say those things. That's why I gravitate or I float towards certain things. That will come from understanding and unlocking who you are. Fight the feeling of being overwhelmed because once you start to get into all the different tools, all the different options and opportunities that Clifton Strengths provides to you, you will feel a little bit of overwhelm. There's tons of information, tons of reports, tons of strategies. And my, my advice to you is to go slow, to go fast. There's no reason to hurry. This is a journey where you're going to persevere. You're going to continue to run into things. And you go, hmm, it might make it kind of take a couple of steps back, three steps back, four steps forward, right? As you step back to understand more, you take that in, you process that, you then apply it four steps forward. And, you'll, and then you'll repeat that cycle over and over and over. The easiest way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. So when you focus on just your top five, so when you get those signature themes, and I'll share mine again. Mine are number one, learner, number two, relator, number three, significance, number four, positivity, and number five, communication. Those are the signature talents, signature themes, signature strengths in progress for me. But I am focused on one or two at a time because that's where I can get growth, where I can see immediate traction, I can see immediate opportunity and action. So don't feel overwhelmed. This is a long game. Persevere. Persevere throughout this process because that is how you are going to grow and get better. Strategy number three, thrive. Thriving in a strengths-based life is about your added value. What are the things that you bring to this world to make it better? What are the innate talents and skills that you possess that can add value to others? Like thriving, thriving is really about who we are and what we can contribute. What are the unique talents, skills, and strategies that you can bring to your work life, to the relationships that you have, or even to your own personal growth and development? Thriving is about really going deep and understanding who we are. I want us all to thrive. We we need it, we deserve to thrive, and I'm, and I'm hopeful that we can find ways to help people realize their innate potential and their innate skills and talents. What are the things that you're doing right now to thrive in your life? Put that in the comments below. I'd love to hear what strategies you're using, what techniques, what ideas, what new things, new insights that you are doing to thrive in your world. You know, we're on a, we're on a mission here at The Principled Leader. We wanna help. We wanna help people grow. We wanna help people develop. We wanna help people be their best selves. I wake up every day motivated to try to help people get better in their lives, in their relationships. And I'm hopeful that the things that I share inspire you, inspire others, inspire people to go out and add 
positive energy and positive value and positive vibes to this world. We need that. As human beings, we need that. So I encourage you, I encourage you to take this video, share it with others, give them the opportunity to also move from surviving to thriving. I think that this is a cornerstone for the work that we need to do as we move forward, as we build better schools, as we build better communities. It should be through a lens of strengths-based development. What do people do well? How do they do it well? And how do we help them discover more about that? It's going to be a great opportunity for us to grow. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to build better communities. That's my mission. That's what I'm hoping to do. So again, if you got value out of this video, if you got something that you said, ah, yes, uh -huh, I'm going to grab onto that. I'm going to hold onto that. Like the video, share it, leave a comment. You love the opportunity to serve other people. Love the opportunity to give back. And we'll continue to provide value. We'll continue to provide opportunities for folks to engage with us. There's lots of fun and exciting things that are happening out there that we want to be a part of and that we want to share with you as well. So looking forward to sharing more with you. It's always an honor and a pleasure to serve. And I look forward to seeing you again on our next video. Be well, everyone.